Rui's all in, dude, so we're going to be all in as well. Holy smokes, chat. The four bets going in with the Ace King. Are you ready for this? This is a big moment in the 2600 chat. Cross your fingers. Come on. We're all in. Flipping. Acer King, Barry, please. Barry, please. Look what's up, chat. Over to the Ace King now. We raise. Lena calls on the King 9 5. We're going to bet. 30,000, I think, is good. Thank you, Rebecca. Of course, I'm listening. Appreciate it. Thank you, Rebecca. Whew. Cold feet, man. Cold feet. Going to call a queen in the turn. Do you want to keep betting against Lena? I think we do. I think we do want to bet in the turn. And then probably check on the river. Uh, check down. Beat queen 10. Nice. Poggers. We chip up, chat. 1.7 million. We've chipped up. We're chipping up, chat. It's a big moment. We raise up ace queen, get called by C Frank. Slight mistake on the sizing here as well. I should make it bigger, but C Frank three bets into us. Uh, so we will call against C Frank. I should have made it bigger pre flop, basically. A bit of a mistake. And folded the big bet. Okay. King Jack in the big blind is nice. Two and a half X. We call. Go to a flop of Queen 10 4. Rainbow. Pretty good flop for us, right? With the king high. We have the open ender and ace or nine will give us the nuts. And, uh, we, you know, other than that, we have decent potential as well. We have 19,000. Call. Turn is a five of spades. So not a good spot to lead. It's just going to be difficult on the turn here as to whether we can uh, continue or not. It depends on their sizing. If they go for like 90,000... Probably not, but it goes check, check. River, we have the nuts, which is good. And we'll bet 84,000. And hope for a raise. Hope for a raise, man. If we get it all in, I'm pretty sure we have the same hand. But against a raise, they can have jack eight. And we do see a raise. Okay. Well, we are going to click it back, probably, right? Click it back is good. We never shove bluff. We don't need to shove bluff if we ever have a bluff here, which we pretty much don't. So we'll just click it back. But I expect we probably have the same hand if we get any, any action beyond this point. But we'll see. Jackie, good question mark in the folds, probably. Yep. Well, fair enough. I mean, we don't have a bet three bet bluffing range, and you don't either. So, <laughs> give ourselves the best chance of, of success there. Two million. Thank you. 49,000 against Thomas. We're very deep here. 140 blinds, but we get a fold. Nines. Tom goes for a small bet. We're going to call. One of the clubs of the turn. We'll check. And it goes check, check. Jack of spades in the river. We can block bet here, which I like. Uh, I like block betting, I think, on this jack of spades. And it works. Great, great, great. Okay, man, okay. 2.2 million almost. Good spot. We're in second place of the 2600. Lot of play left, though, obviously. A lot to go. But we're going to keep it up. I'm going to raise up queens in the 2600. Get called by the legend of the game, Ike Haxton, in the small blinds. Action on Fernando in the big. We have 80 blinds here. It gets a squeeze. It's probably a four bet all in. To 260. I think it's a four bet all in here. Especially against this lineup. I mean, it's not as appealing to go post flop here. Uh, so I think it's just going to be a four bet shove chat. I mean, we could four bet to this, actually. This is probably better. Like 550. We bust the uh, 33. I think we'll make it, yeah. Make it 537. Back on Fernando. We're not folding at this point, though, right? When we four bet, we're going to call it off. Big pot, dude. Big tournament. <clears throat> Cold call, ace high flop. Okay. Um, I think Fernando has ace king. Uh, I think Fernando still has kings and jacks and tens here as well. 
and some other things as well. I mean, they're going to they're gonna have a mixed range in the spot. So range-wise, we want to go for a bet here. And what sizing? You're really quite small, I would assume, is the right move here. Of 287. But obviously on the turn, unless it's a queen, it's going to be check-check. And then on the river, hopefully we check down and we beat like Jackson 10s calling for the sizing, or they just fold on the flop. But other than that, we're going to lose. And we take it down, chat. Let's go. 2.7 million, chat. Let's go. Uh, Ace queen against Pascal Hartman. I think just three bit call here. We will gamble against Pascal. 17 blinds deep, but Ike Haxton could do something here. Pascal thinking about it. Thanks, Rebecca. Okay, we flop at a top pair on a queen 10 8 board with two diamonds. We're just going to be all in here against Pascal. They check. We will bet all in. Come on, chat. Let's go. Another million coming our way. We're up to 3.2 3 million. Let's go, man. Beautiful sag, beautiful. We're in third. We're gonna raise up the eights in the uh, 2600. I like going for the bigger sizing. Disincentivize Ike to play his widest range post flop. I think is good for me. Check here. Get a call from Ike. Ace is ten in the flop. Uh, I can bet sixty two thousand here on the turn. We'll call. We, <laughs> uh, uh, so check, can I bluff here? Like, can I get Ike to fold 170,000? Shop it up. And against Fernando with fours, we're going to call. Flop of ace, 10, seven, okay. In the 2600, it's pretty good. We like this flop, or it's okay. It's an okay flop. We have the four diamonds. We don't like this flop, it's okay. Uh, call, times a six, check. And fold to the big bet on the turn, easy enough. King Jack suited is nice as well though. We'll raise this up. Barry goes for the raise. Mostly call, sometimes three bets. Uh, going to call. King Jack suited. Two flop. Jack 10 five. Flopping the top pair, which is pretty good. We want to bet against Barry. I'm gonna go for the larger sizing and take it down. Four hundred thousand. Cool. All right, we're gonna raise with eights. On our 2600 table, Fernando, thinking about what to do here. It's quite uncomfortable if Fernando shoves for 31 blinds, I think. But calls, we do a flop of 10.73, start with a check call. Okay. Turns a 10 of diamonds, we're gonna check. Bit of 235. Again, it's a call here. Um, the river's probably going to be a fold in that we are blocking like the straight draws we want them to continue, but we're folding too tight if we fold tens or eights here, excuse me. Uh, so we call and go to the river. Five. Because I think, you know, like jack eight type hands, uh, nine eight type hands. Eight, six type hands have missed the straight as well. Like, we block those. We don't block flushes as well, so I think a clear fold on the river. And the five, six against the min rays. Uh, against Ali is Maravich. I don't know how to say his last name very well. We call the flop, ace, queen, five. Bet of 90k. We're going to continue to the turn here with our bottom pair. But it's going to be a spot where he can really... Leverage and not advantage here often, I think, on the turn. So when, if we don't improve on the turn, most of the time we're going to have to fold to a turn barrel, I think. 
the king four gets the pure min raise from Boris. We're going to call and take to a flop of deuce four five. We have second pair and the backdoor king of hearts. So this is pretty good. Bet of 198 on the bigger side here from Boris, but I think we continue. The thinking that they have here, which is smart, is that we three bet a bunch of our over pairs and we don't have all of our offsuit combos down here, you know? We don't have like five deuce offsuit, we don't have four deuce offsuit, we have five four, we don't have three six offsuit, we we have ace three. Um, so that's kind of legit. Deuce of the river, we're going to check again here. There are fives and fours, hoping that we have the best hand. We do. Nice. This one in in practice, the tables are bigger and it's and it fits better, but I'm missing a bit of screen space. I need to get like a fourth or something. I think. It is a beautiful monitor though, it's really great. Boris calls in the big blind, King Queen Ten here. Much better flop for us than Boris. But I think our hand is a pretty good one to check, I think, because uh well, we block clubs, we block straights, we have a one pair type hand which doesn't mind keeping the pot small, but like is not really afraid of any turns and rivers. So I like checking back for that reason. Uh, Jack of clubs, they bet 300k, we're gonna call. And again, we block all the really strong things that they're trying to say they have here by betting big, except for the like the ace high flush, but. River is six of clubs. I think it's gonna be a call. Again, it, they could have the flush here, but we have the second nuts. So that's good. And yeah, I think we just call. Come on, chat. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Let's go. That's a big pot. 3.3 million. Hey, everyone. Just give me a quick 20 seconds here. I want to talk about a new thing that I'm doing, okay? Any2.pro. There's a link in the top of the description. If you're anything like me, when I got into poker, I didn't understand how to get to the right answers in poker hands, right? I could see good pros do it. I could hear their thought process and understanding, similar to what you guys are watching on YouTube and on Twitch daily. But I didn't necessarily know how to find the answer for myself. Well, what I'm going to do is two hands from every single video I post on this channel. I'm going to break down quantitatively and show you why I made the decision I made. And then also if I made a mistake. So if you're interested in that, learning how to do that, taking your game to the next level, check out the link in the description. You also get to submit hands to me. So if you want my opinion on a hand, you can submit the hand. I'll take a look at it. I'll review it. I won't be able to review everyone's, but I'll do my best. I'll commit a certain amount of time every day to doing that and I'd love for you to take a part. So if you want some coaching from me, this is the only chance to do it. Any2.pro slash Jamie Staples. Link in the description. Back to the video. Ace eight suited. We're going to raise 46 left. We're in 22nd place. 76,000 for the win, chat. Anton Wig calls. Ace jack seven. Going to bet on the flop. I mean, I don't, my hand doesn't really want to bet here, but my range I think does quite a lot. So I'm going to keep betting and uh, face the music if we face difficulty. Okay. 3.6 million, chat. 3 point hella 6 million, dude. Whew. Anton opens. I'm going to 3-bit here. Anton can get it in with worse hands than ace-10 offsuit, and our hand does not play so well post-flop, so... Uh, make it like 455 here. I guess 490. We're 3-betting less than all-in only so that if Dimitar 4-bets, we can fold. Basically, that's it, so... But we will gamble against Anton, who can get it in with middling pairs, can get it in with, you know, uh, probably ace-9 and ace-8 suited and stuff like that, you know, I would assume. Broadways, are they just going to flat or four bet? I don't know. Ace-king, I think we mostly just want to three bet uh, against Fernando, but every once in a while call. Rui's all in, dude, so we're going to be all in as well. Holy smokes, chat. The four bet's going in with the ace-king. Are you ready for this? This is a big moment in the 2600 chat. Cross your fingers. Come on. We're all in. Flipping. Acer King, Barry, please. Barry, please. Oh, 
it's a king! Let's go! It's a king on the river! Whoo! Come on, Dottie! Ooh, a very strong hand with the nines. At 40k, 80k. Uh, Ali Ismirovic goes for the raise. Uh, I think we just call here in the big blinds. Let's see a flop of King Jack 7. Not very good for nines, is it, man? Not a very good flop for nines. And not a lot of great ways to improve. You know, we have two outs to a fr straightening card. They bet small enough, we'll peel, and then just decide on the turn. Obviously folding on the river here, though. Raised to 220. Uh, we're going to call on the big blind with this ace-10 suited, which is quite a nice hand. I don't think we want a three-bet. It doesn't accomplish much. Against four bets, we're not doing very well. We are not folding out a lot of better hands or any. So we just call and go to a flop with a strong hand. Which is jack, eight, seven, two diamonds. We have a ace high and a gutter. Uh, if they check to us, which they're going to do a lot, do we want to bet here or not? I think probably check back with our ace high and gutter. I don't think I want to bet. If I bet, I'm going to have a really... I'm going to have quite a lot of draws that can check raise. Uh, and Ali is still capable of having some overpairs here and stuff. On the turn, do we want to bet now? It's targeting ace-queen and ace-king. And sixes through deuces. Which they don't open all of them. I will check again. Eight on the river. Okay. Well, there's a small chance we have the best hand, but more often we're going to lose to like small pairs and ace queen and ace king. But I don't think they necessarily open twos, fours, or fives. And a bet of 166 on the river, blocking ish. I think folding is reasonable. We fold. King seven against the min raise from Tanya Banger. We're going to call. Let's see a flop of king, king, deuce. Oh my god, man, what a flop. Tanya bets. We're going to call. Turn as a deuce. Okay. Uh, I think a fine card, it's a whatever card, right? If they had a better king, we're chopping now. But it's also not a card they conceivably improve their hand on or really want to bluff on often. So I think we just check call again. Bit of 182. Check, check, and we win. Bubble felt, confirmed, chat. We are on the bubble of the 2600. High roller, big game, $5,500 cash. That's right. If we min cash this thing, we're getting art, dude. A min cash is another piece of art. Holy smokes. And first place, 76 grand. I mean, if we win 76 grand, chat, we're buying a big, a big piece of art, man. We're buying a big daddy. Probably, I think we'll set the budget at that point at like 6K if we win the tournaments, okay? That's the, that's the budget for the win. A7 off in the big blind. Not a great hand, but a hand we can play. Definitely against later position opens. We don't know if it's going to all work out yet, but... Find out soon enough. Tanya raising up with two pretty good players right here. We're going to defend with the ace in the big blind and go to the flop. King, seven, four. Flopping a second pair of sevens, which is great. So we're going to start with a check and call. And hopefully see a turn. But it goes check, check. Turn is a six. I am going to bet... I think get some protection from our hand. We're value owning ourselves when they have queens, jacks, tens, nines, uh, eights, and when they have the occasional king x check back. But that's just not going to happen that often. But checking, we really cap a range in a big way to where uh, Tanya can start putting in some really big bets and kind of own us. I think so. We'll bet three sixty. Take it down. Okay. Million chips coming away, chat. That's good. Three point eight million. On the bubble of the tournaments, four off cash in this thing. We'll take any chips we can get here as a pretty vulnerable stack. Oh, it is suck. It is so sick against Ali. They're so good at poker is the thing, dude. And I know that Ali 
who has won high rollers, 300k buy-ins, is going to have a good shoving range against our open here. And Ashak is definitely just a call against it. Uh, lane of raises, though. I call in position. It's still sick against Ali. It's just so nasty to gamble for it here, but. Go to flop, ace, queen, three. Beautiful flop for ace, jack. We like it. Better 300,000. We are going to call and see a turn. Which is a six of clubs. They check. Bet here. 600,000. Take it down. Good stuff, chat. 4.6 million. Good stuff on the bubble. Three off the money. Come on. Really nice hand on the pure bubble, but uh, worth calling, so we call. And see a flop of 6-6 six, six queen. Okay, okay, pretty good flop. Now I'm going to play this passively because I think most of the time I'm going to want to play it passively. Uh, and then also, I don't really want to get stacked by like a 6, you know, on the bubble here. So I think we just chill, play it for a call, turns a 5 of hearts. If it goes check, check, we got a value bet, great. If they bet, then fine. And we have a full house now. Bet. 700,000 with the full house. Take it down. Okay. All right, chat. Over 5 million. Really good situation, dude. 5.1 million on the pure bubble. And now we're in a spot where we actually get to put some pressure on some of these beasts of the game, man. Jax, who oh. <laughs> it's a flat against Lena, dude. It's a flat pre flop against Lena. Uh, against everyone else, it's fine to gamble. If we get a shove against Elio and it folds to us, we are all in. Same with Tanya, but it does fold to Lena, who folds. Okay, great. So we're just gonna min raise. We want to induce action here with our Jax. Uh, I mean, even if we lose an all in, we aren't out of the tournament. Uh, and our hand is definitely good enough here to like induce some shoves. So just go for the min raise and hope for a shove from like sevens, you know. Hold it! Hold it! That one is the new worst one of my life. That one is the new worst one, man. Well, here's to new thresholds of pain, chat. No, oh, I'm, oh, I hurt, I hurt, man. I hurt, we've gotta really be a nit here. I really need David Yan to bust here, dude. Okay, so, I mean, it's just a ridiculous, ridiculous beat, but we, we have cashed the tournament. It's tough to feel as if this is a celebratory moment in that we would have been <laughs> on like 9 million, I don't know, like in fifth, uh, but we are in the money, $5,500 cash. We will be buying some art when the dust settles and we are still in with a chance. Sevens, okay, here it is. <clears throat> in the 2600 chat with the 7-7. Seven, seven. Big spot. Ali Imsarovic. Min raises. We are all in. Good luck, us. It's Queen Jack. Gotta dodge a lot. Deuce. GG. 
$5,513 is our finish for 19th place. Uh, we also bust the 215 Warrior uh, for 271.19. GG, man. I mean, uh, that's disappointing. I mean, it's just, <laughs> it's just, I mean, it's great. It's nice. It's good. It's 5K. It's an art score. Uh, but the art we are going to be buying will not be a happy piece. It will be a piece that uh, is along the lines of what could have been, man. What could have been? But... Hey, dude, I think we have a new best bad beat on the stream, which is nice. Uh, we have a new threshold for some high stakes intensity uh, in such a beastie field. So it was a pleasure to play. Uh, and I feel good about how I maneuvered through that field as well. Like things are trending in such a good direction uh, in terms of my game. And like, I don't know. I just feel like 2021 has a lot of potential ahead of it. So GG on the score. We'll take the money. Let's continue on the grind here with some deep runs. <laughs>